Hey guys, welcome to Tarot and Hill. Welcome to your tarot reading for the month of December for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. With that being said, let's get started. Hope you're enjoying the holidays. All right, uh, thank you. I come to you humbly thanking you for your divine guidance, sending messages of divine light and divine love in accordance with divine will. What is it that the Gemini Collective needs to know for the month of December? You have be true to yourself. So usually I pick the oracle cards to get the overall vibe, and then I go into the actual tarot card reading. What else do we have for Gemini for the month of December? Anything else? What else do we have for Gemini? What are the lessons that they need to learn? Too many cards. We'll pick these here. Live life to the fullest. Make no judgments. Claim your art. Keep your commitments. And look forward. Okay. This is a lot. <laughs> a lot of energy. Some of you guys are definitely leveling up. You're upgrading. You're figuring out what makes you happy and you're moving forward. Some of you guys are um, figuring out what your passions are. So that's pretty exciting. All right, let's get started. What are these newfound commitments that are coming um, coming in their way? They're coming towards them. What are their new passions, rather? What's the overall energy for December for Gemini? This may be love. This can be a new career path. Some of you guys are going through an ascension, so you're just really changing drastically. People probably won't recognize you by the time you're done with this transition. What's going on with Gemini's for December, okay? So first up, we do have the double card in reverse. Some of you guys, like I said, you are realizing who you are. You're stepping into your authentic self. You're dropping uh, whatever negative patterns, whatever toxic behaviors you had whether it's around you or um, within you. We also have the Two of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. A lot of Earth energy. You guys are taking a grounded approach. You get, you guys realize that you're juggling certain things, you're holding on to certain things that you needed to let go of. This is also Earth energy, Capricorn energy here. You guys are taking a very solid, strategic, grounded approach to this. I feel like you guys are taking, um, you know, taking a fine tooth comb and um, combing through your life, combing through your mindsets, combing through your results that you've gained so far figuring out what worked and what didn't work just taking inventory what else is going on with gemini some of you guys had a wish that didn't come through with this nine of cups here and that might have triggered you guys into figuring out why it didn't work out we have this page of wands it's a seed of passion that didn't come through what else is going on with gemini Okay, a new perspective is needed to be had. Um, I feel like spiritually you're being guided into this new perspective, into this deep dive, facing your shadows, facing everyone around you, just seeing the reality of the situation. But during this time, it's just a, during this healing moment with the star card, there is a time of reflection. You have to take time to yourself. There is a pause in progress. What else is going on with Gemini? You're the Queen of Swords in a verse. There's something that you refuse to cut out, it seems. The Queen of Swords knows what they have to do moving forward. It's more like a, a head of a heart decision here. But some of you guys, because it's coming out in a verse, some of you guys refuse to take that approach. We do have the Empress here in reverse as well. There's some type of emotional imbalance that needs to be had. We have the Moon card. Some of you guys are facing your subconscious, some hidden desires, some hidden passions, and reflecting on it. We have the, the Seven of uh, Pentacles, which is about reassessing. Once again, more pentacle grounded energy, earth energy here. Okay. And let's just clarify. Why is this moon card here? So you have the clover that came out. Some of you guys are discovering secret passions or hidden passions that really make you happy. This is something that's specifically for you. This could be a love interest or this can just be a passion, a, a new hobby that you picked up. And now you're reflecting and seeing how can that, how can you really use that to um, enhance your life? 
Why is this Queen of Swords here in reverse? Why is this Queen of Swords here in reverse? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. So we have this hatchet. Um, yeah. So yeah, there was something that you need to cut out. What is it that you need to cut out though? Wow. There might be people in your in your vicinity, some childhood friends. Um, that you need to cut out. We do have the kid here. We do have the, the loyalty card with this doll card. There's some people that you've been loyal to in the past that you might need to cut out now, you realize. They might have been holding you back. Okay. Tell me about this uh, double card. Yeah, some of you guys with the compass, you're figuring out where it is you need to go moving forward. You're realizing exactly the places within yourself that you need to let go of. You're realizing the people that you need to let go of. All the toxic energy are being um, are coming to your awareness now. You know exactly what you need to cut out. But for some reason, some of you, it's hard to. That's why we have this Two of Pentacles here. Tell me more about this double card. Yeah, some of you guys are getting intuitive hits. You're getting a message about what it is. People might be telling you about yourself, you know. <laughs> Somehow you're getting um you're getting these messages. Why is this nine of cups here in reverse? Yeah, this is a wish fulfillment card. There's some wish that didn't come true and you realize there was some toxic energy around you that caused that not to happen, not to come into fruition. Why is this Two of Pentacles here? There are people around you. There might have been some gossip. You might have been listening to a bunch of people around you for some reason. We have this flower card. There's someone that, that was sweet on you. Someone might have been talking about a love interest of yours. You might have been talking about them or talking, gossiping about them to other people. And that caused you to juggle. You do have the moon card in the ship here. There's something that you have to move on from. Why is this Four of Pentacles here? There is some type of commitment you're holding on to. Something that you're loyal to and you realize you have to let go because it's simply very toxic. Let's see. Now we're going to see what it is that you're looking at. Um, what are you feeling to see here? the Gemini Collective failing to see? They see that there are some type of toxic energies around them and within them that's stopping them from moving forward. Tell me more about what it is that they're failing to see. It was things and people that they were loyal to that was actually pretty toxic. Tell me more about what the Gemini Collective was failing to see. What are they failing to see here? The high priestess just peeked out. You're definitely being intuitively guided to exactly to pinpoint exactly where this toxic energy is coming from. Tell me more about what they're feeling to see. Oh, <laughs> yep, the high priestess. Okay, so you guys are definitely being intuitively guided. Um, something that you didn't see before is now coming out. Things are coming to light. And in doing so, in following this intuition, it's going to shake everything up. Uh, the tower moment, the tower card is a moment where the universe comes through and shakes everything up um, at your core. Things that you once believed in, friends that you had for a really long time, for example, or relationships that you had for a really long time, they, they start to crumble or you start to see the, the reality of the situation. It's that type of situation, but it's always for the better. We do have the Ten of uh, Pentacles here in reverse. So yeah, there's some type of foundation. This might be a family situation. There's some type of foundation that'll be uh, crumbled. That'll, I don't want to say crumble. That has a bad connotation. But it's just something that'll be shifted and adjusted so that you can set a new foundation for yourself. It'll force you to make a decision here with this Two of Wands. Okay? What is this decision about? 
this two of wands what is this decision about it's about pushing through there's something that you have to push through yeah there's some new knowledge here that's going to help you persevere and push through this uh, tower moment this is some type of epiphany that's going to come through about some long-standing secret some long-standing situation you might realize that someone just didn't have your best interests at heart or something like that. What else is going on? What else are they failing to see? You're the lovers. So there's some type of soulmate. You might find out some secrets about a soulmate around you that you were loyal to. Yeah, we have the two of arrows here. So yeah, there's something that you were blinding to for sure. Four of Wands, there's some uh, in reverse along with the Seven of Branches. You were you were not defensive in a situation where you probably should have stood up for yourself. This was some type of unstable um, foundation. This could be in the home life because now we have two cards indicating home. Okay, so this could be in the home life. This could be just a very a long term relationship that you were in, and something's coming to light now. You found out that you were like kind of blindsided about someone's efforts, um, about someone's maybe a uh, toxic behavior and now it's coming to light you're realizing what they were doing tell me about this lover's card you're also realizing you're getting clarity on the people in your life who are actually soulmates for you who do have a soul connection what else is going on with the lover's card Yeah, there's people that you're blinded to. Um, you're realizing that there's a risk involved with some love interest. You're probably going to gain some clarity on that so that you can make a decision here. You're also realizing that you had more options than you thought. You might have felt like you were limited in your options here. But it was because you were blinded to it. You were blinded to the other options for some reason. Why is this two of arrows here? There's something about the public. There's something about um, my, maybe social media is going to play a role here. Someone might be reaching out to you in social media. It's Or you'll see something on social media that's going to give you the clarity that you need. Speaking of clarity, we do have the owls coming out. This is about wisdom, intu intuition. It's something about something you're going to see on the internet. It's going to force you to make a decision here. It's going to help you. It's going to help you glean gain clarity about this person whoever this love interest is and it's going to make you put an end to it what's the overall advice what's the overall advice what's the overall advice here The Wheel of Fortune. It's time to turn the Wheel of Fortune in your favor. You're not realizing how this thing, whatever this toxic energy is, is actually holding you back. You might be keeping people that you've been loyal to from your past, and that's been holding up your progress. Right now, you're moving into a new cycle. The universe is trying to push you into a new cycle here. Okay? It's time to move on to smooth the waters. Maybe you've been in a chaotic situation. You've been around people who've been chaotic for you. It's time to move to calmer waters here with the Six of Arrows. It seems as if you're having a hard time moving on. What else do we have here? Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's some type of burden that you're carrying. This burden might be a love interest that you've been holding on to. Someone you've been loyal to. But they've been kind of toxic for you. It's some, yeah, it's time to cut them out so that you can have your healing. The star card is about wish fulfillment. It's something about this person, whoever this toxic energy is that you're loyal to, they're actually affecting you and holding you back. They're holding up your energy and sometimes we can't see how someone is affecting our energy in that way until we drop them and let them go. And then we're able to see exactly how they were blocking our blessings, okay? It's someone that you need to cut out, cut out so that you can have this blessing come through. This person is a burden. I'm sure you already know who this is. We do have the high priestess, so you are very aware and intuitively knowing who this person is. All right, Gemini, I hope this resonated with you. Um, if it did, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, um, and feel free to actually add me on IG, Tarot and Heal. I have some pretty cool stuff up there. All right, until we meet again, happy holidays. Peace.